Hello, in this lesson I'm just going to teach you a little bit about end cloth, end constraints, and end particles. So to start off we're just going to create a polygon plane here and drag it out onto the grid. I'm just going to bump my subdivisions up to 20 and 20. We can also make the height and width 15 and 15. Ah, alright, that's good. So now what we're going to do is convert this to an end cloth by going up top to end mesh and clicking create end cloth. So watch what happens when I hit play. Um, just set your time slider to about 800 by going here and typing in 800. Alright, so when I click play, watch what happens. It falls right down. Now we're going to prevent that from happening by wrapping up the three corners here. So right click, select vertex, and select the four corners. Alright, so the next step we're going to do is go to End Constraint, Transform. And watch what happens when I hit play this time. You notice the middle just falls down, drapes pretty nicely. So that's pretty neat. But now we're going to drop something, some end particles onto it, say sand or something. And notice you don't have to make it a cl collider. You just create an emitter. Ah, undo that. Uh, create end particle. Create emitter and just pull that up. Alright, so watch what happens when I hit play. Hold on, I gotta reset my time slider. Alright. So they fall nicely onto the draping and fall to the side. This gives it kind of a neat effect. Now if you want to have it something underneath to land on, just show you how to do that real quick. Create another plane, polygon plane. Scale it up and pull this down and now what we're going to do is go up to the end mesh create passive collider okay so watch what happens when I hit play again the balls are going to fall off and land on the this thing now in my previous lesson I taught you about friction so if you want to increase the friction you can prevent them from falling so far and going off the edge so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create like a nice drape with wind. So I'm just going to delete all this. I'm just going to create another polygon plane. Scale that up. Um, I'm just going to select um, two two ver vertices. And wait, don't forget you have to convert it to end cloth first. So creating cloth and then select the two vertices on the edges and go up to top and constraint transform now when I hit play it's just gonna drape nicely down and we're gonna add a little bit of wind to that to do that just hit control A on a Mac I think it's the same for Windows I believe and we're gonna go up to the nucleus node here alright so you see you have the option for wind speed, air density Wind direction, so we're just going to crank up that wind speed a little bit. All right, once it falls, see a good of a little bit of wind. Could play around with that. Right now, it's going in the x direction, which is going directly that way. So, you might want to change it to the z, depending on how you made yours. You notice how it'll fly back. Can lower the wind speed a little. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have something go directly through this. Now, there are a few ways you can do that, but I'm just going to show you a simple way. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, here, just rotate this object to... ...90 degrees in the x-axis for me. Alright, so... Eh, wait, negative 90. Sorry. Make sure your um, transforms nodes are up here. Alright, so we're just going to have something collide with this. We're just going to create a simple um, sphere. And 
I'm just gonna select these middle vertices. And we're just gonna go up to the top and you constraint terrible surface. And that'll make those middle vertices terrible. So we're gonna make this a little bigger so it matches up with that tear area and we're gonna go up to the top and mesh create passive collider now click on the ball and go to the time slider and hit S to keyframe it there and now we're gonna go up to about say 40 and move the ball over here and hit S to keyframe it again now reset your time slider and watch the effect so you get a nice tear it's not exactly an even tear but it's polygons you can have more resolution within your um, cloth here and you'll get a better tear so it'll look more realistic so it's basically all I wanted to show you about and constraints and particles and and cloth